Hello everybody, how are you guys? We're getting such a great reaction on these uh, Charlotte videos. People love Charlotte. It's one of those communities that people love. It's not too big, it's not too small. And the question I keep getting is, what are, uh, what are some of the cool neighborhoods to visit or consider living in in Charlotte? So here are five of them. I'm not an expert. I learned most of this from a guy that I was behind the uh, behind in line at the Denny's, and uh, I was talking about these videos, and he mentioned these neighborhoods. Uh, he was wearing a almost heaven North Carolina T-shirt, and uh, so he, he seemed like a local. He seemed to, like he knew what he was talking about. So here we go. The number one neighborhood of interest in. Charlotte is Splitsville. Now, Splitsville is a neighborhood where many people are divorced. And the reason that it's interesting is that the tax, taxes are set up in Splitsville to favor divorced people. So, if you are divorced, or if you know somebody that's divorced, or you're planning on getting divorced, or you want to suggest to the person you're married to that you should get divorced, Splitsville is something that you might want to bring up in conversations. You might want to say something like, Hey, uh, honey, have you ever considered living in Splitsville? Right? And so if they're from Charlotte, they'll know what you're talking about, and they'll know to lawyer up. So that's an interesting neighborhood. Now, number two in uh, the list is Bogstown. Bogstown is near uh, the southern side of town. Bogstown is... Uh, mostly mosquito-infested bogs. And the reason that's interesting is that if you're a naturalist, if you're a botanist, a biologist, a scientist, and you want to have your work close to you, Bogstown might be of interest. So you can literally build a house on stilts out in the bogs, wake up in the morning, drop a uh, specimen jar into the water, pull it up, and be working right away. You'll have specimens on uh, microscope glasses. What do you call those microscope glasses? Before you can say uh, ham and eggs. Now, number three on our list is more of a general appeal than bogs down. And it's called... Sorry, I had to make sure that uh, that car was uh, going around. Uh, number three on our list has more of a general interest... And that's because it's called Fast Foodville. Now, Fast Foodville is simply not allowed, to simply not allow any other restaurants other than fast food restaurants. Now, the thing about it is, you say, well, that's not very healthy. Uh, I think you're showing your snobbiness there because there's plenty of healthy choices at McDonald's, at uh, Burger King, and at all, all the rest. You just gotta, you just gotta be able to finesse the menu a little bit. And if you do what I do, they know me at these fast food places. They see me coming in. They go, oh, yeah, here he comes again. And I ask him, I say, listen, can you ask the chef if he'll whip up something special for me? And they'll say, well, we don't have a chef. I go, okay, just call him chef. Who's ever the head cook back there? Uh, could I get a uh, over easy eggs? right and I'll describe a breakfast and generally they say no no you can't why are you asking us to create a special menu for you uh, however you may be more persuasive than me uh, I have a kind of a weird look that makes people kind of cower a little bit so that's something to try will you make me a special salad Will you cook me up something special if I describe it for you? Uh, I had it in England on my last trip there. You know, give it some context. Uh, so that's Fast Foodville. And if you really are into fast food in general, it's going to be a lot easier for you to get your daily uh, fast food fix. Now, number four on the list is something similar to that, but it's called Shoe Town. Now, Shoe Town is a uh, community of homes that are shaped like shoes. Yes, we've all heard of the old lady in the shoe and that might have inspired Shoe Town, but they don't allude to that story in any of their marketing. But nonetheless, uh, you can buy shoes that look like slippers, that look like Crocs, okay, that have big holes in them and you have to 
put saran wrap over the holes to keep the rain out. They have shoes that look like boots, fry boots, cowboy boots, uh, moon boots. They've got, I mean, it's the most amazing part of Charlotte, guys, and it gets, honestly, it gets a lot of hipster action down there. So if you like hipsters, if you like guys with beards that are way too long that they should have shaved off about three years ago, then uh, Shoe Town might be of appeal to you. And of course, what's neat is every cab in town, every cab in town is a, a Jimmy Choo uh, shoe. A Jimmy Choo shoe. So uh, if, you, if you like driving around in cabs that look like a big Jimmy Choo shoe, then uh, did I just sneeze Jimmy Choo shoe? Uh, then Shoe Town might be of interest to you. And finally, number five on our list of very unique neighborhoods is Snob Town. Now, Snob Town is outside the city proper. It's in a gated community. In fact, there's a moat around the community. Uh, around the community, there's guard towers. There's barbed wire. It's hard to get in. You got to know somebody. You got to have three IDs: uh, eye scan, voice scan, voice imprint. You've got to apply for. Uh, Access to your relative's house three weeks in advance. You've got to get confirmation from the state. You've got to get a, a, a special guard to accompany you on the grounds, and you must uh, go through a strip search. Now, if you don't mind all that, Snob Town has some really cool architecture, big homes. Uh, if you like, if you, I remember when I was a kid, after church, my dad would take us for a drive around the rich neighborhoods, and we'd look at the big homes, and we'd go, whoa. I want to live there or I'm going to live there, you know, that kind of thing. So if you want to do that with your kids, uh, you, you get get through all those uh, hurdles, then you're going to love Snob Town because there's some cool homes, big homes, and you'll have a lot of fun. So guys, there you go. Five uh, really unique neighborhoods in Charlotte that people love and that you should check out.